Welcome back to another PAL World Glitches video. Today I'm going to be showing you a pretty cool thing. The T-Pose is back, you can still do it, and actually it's arguably better than last time. I'm just going to start off by showing you a little clip. Can anybody explain why or how I managed to spawn in five huge eggs, even though it's supposed to have one? I thought it was only one, but I just got five somehow. How does that even make sense? If that is a glitch and I've somehow done it, please let me know down below because I would like to actually do that on purpose. So the first glitch I'm going to be showing you today is actually involving the Lift Monk or the Life Monk, however you pronounce it. So I'm just going to grab him from here. So I'll just trade him with that guy. So what he'll be doing is obviously you've got the F command, which is the recoil thing. So if I want to use this, I can just shoot and shoot and shoot. And obviously you can see it's now unable to do it. I can't click it again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my party and then I'm going to drop him. Yeah. And now he's on the floor. All I need to do is just pick him back up again, bring him out straight away. I can do it. How cool is that? I'm stuck in a glitch. What is going on? What? What is happening? Oh my god. Just to show you again one more time. So you can see at the bottom there, you cannot use it. I'm trying to use it, but it won't work. So what I do is go into my party, drop him on the floor. There he is. Pick him back up, throw him, and I can do it straight away. Very, very cool. This next glitch, I'm going to be showing you how to get the chest. You can actually complete a dungeon without even fighting the boss at the end. This is really, really, really handy, especially if you're too low a level to actually get the boss and you just need the reward at the end. Well, that is possible. You don't have to actually aggro the boss or take him on at all. First thing we're going to want to do is, of course, find a dungeon which can be quite tricky because they're not actually on the map. So I'm now going to fast travel to this place in particular. This is a really, really good dungeon here to take on. As you can see, I haven't taken on yet at all because I've not even been over there. So I'm just going to go in there, travel to this, and then just go to the end and show you the end result. So you do need to be aware that some of the dungeons will actually be closed, which I think is, is normal, but I don't really know why. To be honest, I'm not sure why they really are closed, what the purpose is of that. But now we're in, I've just found a different one. We now head to the boss bit right at the end. You might have to fight your way through these, um, but just go through all the way and then you'll be able to get to the end and then we'll meet you back there. Okay, we are now back. It is a Lee's Punk, which is pretty cool, but I'm just going to get on this guy and we're gonna go all the way round the back you don't want to actually aggro them. You can just go all the way around here. It shouldn't aggro them at all. There we go. And I just need to command everyone to don't attack, which is very, very vital because if you throw them down, you might end up attacking them. So what you want to do is stand here on the left side and just spam throw your, your power like this. It won't work at first, but then at some point, there we go, and now you just go to ride him. There has to be a pal that you can ride, and look at that. I've glitched through the little force field thingy, and now I can get off, just like so, and then take these. Look at that, and now I'm just going to leave the dungeon. I didn't even fight the guy. How cool is that? I think that is a really, really handy one. And it's definitely good if you just want to farm all your dungeon loot and stuff. I don't actually know if it respawns, if you can actually go back into the same one later on. But if you can, then fair play. So before we actually teleport back to the base, what we need to do for this next glitch, which is the T-posing glitch, which is still here and it's better than ever, honestly. This thing is amazing and I cannot wait to show you how to do this. So what we need to do first is you need a pal that you can actually become a glider. So I am using this guy right here. I'm using the Gale Claw. Apparently he's one of the best ones. So what you can do, you can look at that. Look how quick this is. It's very, very, very handy. So the first thing you need to do is actually kill that pal. So I need to go and somehow kill this pal. Uh, you can't throw them off a cliff anymore, unfortunately. But 
I believe I might be able to just throw him in here, if I'm right. That does not work, unfortunately. So I can't be doing that. You will be able to do that with any pals that are actually on the floor. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set him on these three, get him killed, and then we'll go from there. Jeez, he got destroyed. Okay. There we go. He's now come back. So you can tell that they've been fully killed. Oh, I might actually die here. You can tell that they've been fully killed because you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, there is a red background to his little icon. So what we need to do now is just head over back to this fast travel beacon and head back to base, which I will do now. So we fast travel back to the base and now we have to wait until night time because you need to rest, which will then obviously make it to morning. So why you have to wait probably about a minute or so, wait for it to get to night and then sleep. Okay, so we're now going just to sleep. Before you sleep, do not sleep right now because you need to take your glider off. So we take that off. Make sure that equipped, I have the Gale Claw equipped on here on the left hand side. So now we then go to sleep like this. And then once we've woken up, go outside and it should be all good. Look at that. T-Pose is back. And the cooler thing about this is the reason why I think it's better than the old version is because while you're doing it, you can shoot. Look at that. How cool is that? Just look how weird this is. It's so weird. You have to be very careful though. I almost fell to my death then because he does use stamina, obviously, but he uses less stamina. And for some reason, this method is better and you seem to go further. I'm not sure why. Go on, catch him. Catch him. Look at that. Long shot. I don't even know why I did that. But that is actually it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you can, leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. And let me know if there's any glitches that you think I should do down in the comments. And I'll definitely cover them for a future video.